Hi there, so today I've got the Soul Bay at 65 watt PD charger, uh, USB-C power adapter charger. And I've got my trusty little um, tester, so that shows me what's actually coming out in terms of power versus what's supposed to come out. So we have a UK adapter there. We have the power bank part of it, where you've got um, obviously USB-C, USB-C and USB. Well, it's not USB, yes, USB-A, I should say. USB-A, USB-C, it's got gloss finish, which comes in plastic, I'll leave that one for the moment, it's very, very important. Uh, we have a USB-C to USB-C fast charging cable and we then have the power adapter so let's pop this plastic off now I'm going to find a plug for this which is under my desk because I'm going to have to dip down and just plug this in quickly uh, but this cable isn't overly long because of it I would say it's a metre which might be okay for some people but I tend to find it Right, so just that reaches up on top of my desk here. Let's plug that in as sort of a particular way round. Doesn't look like there is. It's clicked in place. Ah, so I've just clicked. There we go. See, unscripted reviews are interesting. Unscripted. The reason I say that is this adapter, which I've clicked this on, but it, in fact, oh, as a button, look push the button and it releases that. Okay, fine. So what we've got is a, you don't use the cable, you can plug the unit straight into a mains plug just by clipping that on there. Okay, so that's quite useful because you've got two options in terms of powering it. Let's just use this one for the time being. So here now. That's in. So this is saying it's a USB-C plus A power adapter. I'm just looking for the amps. So output 5 volts is I think so, 4 amps. Is, so 5 volts is 4 amps, 9 volts is 4, 12 volts is 4, 15 volts 4, 20 volts 3, total 60 watts max. And the output on the USB side of things is 2.5. No, 5 volt is 2.4 amps by the looks of it. 12 volt max. Okay. So we'll try the USB 6. So what we'll do is plug this into it. Port there. I'm going to plug this into my phone, which I'm currently using to shoot this video. And I think the battery is around 60% on this. But to get a decent length cable, I would say that's about one point. Yeah, talking about 1.2, 1.5 meter cable to go into the device, that's really useful. So I'll pop that into my phone and plug the USB C into this, and we should see this light up. And there we go. See this? So this is putting out uh, 1.63 amps via the USB C. Let's see, 0.65 amps it's putting out at 9 volts. Now, if I'm correct, having a look back at this unit here, it was saying the output at 9 volts is 4 amps, at 12 volts is 4 amps. So it's only putting out a fraction of what it stated it should be putting out. Now, I do appreciate my battery is at the 60% mark and you know, the charging rates do drop off a bit after that, but not to the extent that we're running at 0.65 amps versus a 4 amp supposed output is, from my perspective, pretty low. Um, it's going to take my phone ages to charge up if I'm um, using this. But what I will do, I've got a USB-C, USB to USB-C fast charging cable. Because you only get the, the one cable with this setup, so I'm going to pop this out. I'm going to plug into the USB C port here. 
Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Move it all the way around. So I want to plug this into the USB C port. Plug the cable into here. That's that. I need to plug this into my phone the other end. Let's take this calm one out and see what that's going to put out. Okay, so that's putting out. Interestingly, the USB A port is putting out a higher rate than the USB C, which is not what I would expect. I'd expect it to be the other way around. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to use the cables, but I want to just double check the cable is working correctly with a cable that I know is working correctly. So, what I'm going to do is change this around again. So, we'll double check that. It's still at 0.7.8 amps is quite low. So let's pop that out. Take it over there. I'm going to plug this USB C back in. USB C into here. And what I'm going to do now is plug the USB C into my phone. The wobbly picture again. Plug this one. Pop this other one in. And let's have a look what we got. So I've got one point. Sixth, oh, let's drop one off. 0.65. Let's see that hopefully. 0.65 amps. It's just not putting out the power. Now, I don't have a, a device that's currently quite low on battery, but we're going to be a slightly different steer because I know that over about 50 60 percent it does start to draw slightly less power, but not to the extent that. 0.65 versus the supposed 4 amps. It's only putting out 15% of what it should do. Is that correct? 15%? Correct me if you like. So based on this, the charge performance is great. Not so not great. It's not great at all, which is surprising. Now I could since it's plugged into my socket down here. I just want to double check that with my own charger. See whether my own one's putting out less or more. Okay, so my own charger is putting out 1.63 amps to my phone versus this one, which I'm going to plug in again. It's putting 0.65 amps. So clearly the issue here is not a cable related issue, it is actually down to this unit here, not putting out the stated output so in terms of amps as to what it should do. I mean, you know, as we said from the beginning, this is a four amp output at nine volts and we're getting 0.65. Um, I don't think I need to know much more than that really, to be honest, I think it gives you a good steer on the performance of this power adapter. Hope this has helped. Thanks for watching. Bye.